What is, how do you define an oracle? What is an oracle? So an oracle is a system that allows you to get data ex from an external source, right? It, it's basically like we call for a state connector like the eye in the sky, right? And there's lots of different ways you can construct them with various different trade-offs. So for a price oracle, that's kind of like a, a soft proof. You can't prove something that isn't deterministic, ultimately. Like if you say, what is the market price of Bitcoin? Well, it's different on different exchanges. It's different by fractions and it's different as to when you look at it. So you can't really prove the price anyway. But what you can do is you can create shelling point within a properly decentralized oracle, which essentially allows a, a true decentralized system to come to a, essentially an agreement that this is kind of roughly where the price is. In, in a shelling system, is that is that referring, what conceptually is this reading, I would imagine you are looking at the different exchanges or your, what would be the access point to collect the so, data? Yeah, at the moment on our Canary network, which is called Songbird, it's been live since 2021, September 2021. Great name. Uh, we, thank you. We have a, what we call the Flare Time Series Oracle. And that takes the native token. So the native Songbird token and people delegate to what we call price providers. And currently we have about, it's about 86 price providers that are live and we have about 120 that are registered. So quite a sizable number of price providers relative to basically any other price oracle in the space. It updates every three minutes and each one of those price providers is essentially calling the APIs of all the various exchanges and putting their best guess of the price into the network. And essentially each price provider gets, gets pricing power from, from the people that delegate their, the native token Songbird to that Oracle, to that price provider. And then Songbird aggregates those prices, takes the center of the disk, cuts off the tails and no fit outliers and takes the, the, the weighted medium of that distribution. And that's, it's been, you know, it's been live for over a year. Uh, it's been really robust. Interesting. Um, yeah. And frankly, we've done quite a lot of analytics on, on how it's performed. And it's been a really stable, a really valuable price source for. Yeah. I'm so curious about this. Okay. So you have 80 different, are these 80 different people or organizations managing each an API to exchanges? And why not just have the direct API connection yourself? Why go to all the work of building out this Songbird ecosystem and bringing on all these different pricing, yeah, yeah scraper so, API So phones? the problem with just having the API on a blockchain is ultimately someone has to run that API infrastructure and that person or entity becomes a essentially a centralizing point in, in, in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, which means that, you know, if they decide to change the price because you've got a DeFi protocol, which they can liquidate a, a, a large participant, they might change the price in order to oh. essentially, you know, benefit themselves. And so you, you really want to have a, as decentralized system as possible. So for instance, in our Oracle system, if someone did try to put in a bad price, but the others are honest, they would be, their price would be outside of the distribution that is captured. Yeah, essentially, we capture the center of the distribution and their price would be in the tails of the distribution if they're putting in a false price to try and liquidate someone. So this, the, the Oracle problem is a really hard problem. Is, when you say the Oracle problem, are you referring specifically to the, the problem of collecting the price for different cryptocurrencies is the hard, is the the, hard that, part? That bit's easy. The hard part is... How do you then get that onto a blockchain without creating, you know, a series of attack vectors for the, essentially the parties that are operating that Oracle to, to, to be malicious and, and to essentially erroneously take money from other people. Mission control, we have liftoff. 